Good morning, Mayor Dan Pope with the weekly update. Happy Friday. Let's talk about LPNL. Uh, I've had some questions about some of the work that you've seen going on in the south and southwest part of the community where we're replacing electric lines. There's three things I want to talk about. One is that what we're doing with our grid within the city and that's budgeted work. It's part of a five-year plan to upgrade our grid. Uh, we're replacing 69 kV lines with 115 kV lines. All I can tell you is that allows us to move more electricity and helps us keep up with our growth. Uh, but most importantly, it's about reliability. Second thing we're doing is we'll start to implement uh, advanced metering uh, later this year. That'll be for both LPNL and City Water. Uh, we'll talk more about that at some point, but it's the technology that allows your meter to be read electronically, allows you to monitor your usage, pay, you know, work, check your bill, um, uh, allows us to do a number of administrative functions uh, electronically without sending someone out to have to do that. The third thing going on with LPNL is we, we're, we will be building 141 miles of transmission lines to connect us to the ERCOT grid. And there'll be a couple different uh, specific lines that will be built. Uh, we're not, we haven't quite started that yet. We've got to get permission from the Public Utility Commission. We have to work with landowners that will, where the lines will be going through, through their land. But that, that's, uh, that's in progress also. So a quick LPNL update. Earlier this week on Monday night, we, uh, Tuesday night, we had a uh, community forum at Guadalupe Elementary School. We had a full house. It was a very well attended. I'm thankful for the citizens that, that came. I'm thankful for the Community Engagement Task Force. Remember, this is the, the group that sponsors this. It's, uh, we've been meeting now for nearly three years. Uh, that We started our effort to, to in, uh, initially was to improve relationships between citizens and law enforcement, specifically El Lubbock Police Department. We've branched off a bit from that, but it's about building understanding and relationships. It's about uh, better uh, getting into our communities with law enforcement and certainly with all the city services and understanding what's important to our, to our neighbors, uh, uh, to our citizens, uh, to our neighborhoods. And so we, we, we continue to work on it. We'll have another forum next month. Uh, if you want to go online to, you can, get, you can look at the webpage uh, at the City of Lubbock uh, webpage. You can search for it. We have a Facebook page. We'll, we'll link those up on, on the video this week. And uh, there was quite a bit of uh, video taken Tuesday night, so you can probably watch some of the, uh, um, the actual questions and answers that, that uh, took place. Uh, the panel that night was uh, Chief Stevens, uh, Councilman, uh, Chavez, uh, LISD trustee uh, Lala Chavez, and uh, uh, LISD trustee Bill Stubblefield. So we had a good diverse group that did a, uh, a great job of, of answering a, a number of citizen questions. Final thing, it was about two months till the mayor's marathon, uh, Sunday, April the 28th. We've talked about it before. It's a great time to get signed up. It's a great time to get out if you're planning on running the marathon, the relay, the half marathon, uh, the uh, kids run, if your kid's are gonna do that, or the, or the, or the 5K, they're all out there. Um, we just wanna make sure that you're getting ready and uh, we're looking forward to, to that. We've got a lot of local uh, sponsors that, are, that have signed up to help, a lot of people that are, that are gonna help us put it on. So if you don't wanna run, but you wanna volunteer, we need your help. Um, so you can go to uh, the uh, uh, Mayor's Fitness Council web, web page or the uh, Mayor's Marathon uh, web page and, and get that information. We'll link that on the video too. I'm thankful for all of you. I'm thankful for your, uh, your support, for your, um, your great ideas, for your prayers. I'll talk to you next week.